Hey everyone, welcome to Echocalypse. So we're starting with Chimera Contact. But before that, for those, for the benefit of those who are new, beginning, or haven't unlocked um, their vibration arms, let's go to my squad first and you will see this one. So each of your cases will be able to equip um, vibration arms. Some of them might be for that exact same uh, case. Like for example, for Niz, um, the one that she's using is the weapon of Bastet. It's not a problem. The, the only uh, restriction is you won't be able to use the skill, but the stats you'll be able to use. So again, I won't be uh, discussing more on vibration arms. You can check out my video on vibration arms, but I'm going to focus more on chimera contact wherein you could farm your materials to be able to upgrade your vibration arm so this is chimera contact again for those who are who haven't opened this yet um you're gonna be um fighting three a uh, force four areas here so the this is these are basically tower stages we're in you go up a level, then you fight another level, then more or less you let's let's do one. So as you progress to a different level, different levels have different entries. This one has six. So once you fight it, then you will go to another level of the tower. Um, you can actually skip this one. This feature is free. So once you skip this one you go to 321 then onward so again when you when you start on the lower levels it's going to be available for only three then it escalates up to the middle here so three this is usually good for uh three cases this four this five this is six so the deployment escalates as you go on a set of five so 326 it goes back to three deployment then the last one is also six so now you get what it is so at 321 this is the highest that i have deployed so the next one the bifrost you can actually speed up this up because um your other tower has the highest already so as long as you can access it you can you uh, play it you can speed up the battle you don't have to play everything so that's the trick to doing this um this will be time consuming uh, if you do every battle anyway you, you can skip the battle sequence so you can just speed up battle up until where it it carries you then you can uh play from there okay so that is another tip for your chimera contact so 321 the rest are 310 you can probably, you know, uh, play up to 321 or probably if you can, um, if you can defeat the enemies, you can go over 321. But anyway, the highest when you have a tower that's above the, the level level is above the rest, the rest you can speed up. So this, this four towers actually funnel into your research area. Your research area is additional, um, as you can see there, uh, materials so that you can upgrade your vibration arms. You can attack this. It really depends if um, if you clear this, you get the get the rewards. But again, as you see there, battle failed. You'll just have to do this whenever you are strong enough. Okay. So, but but this is the processing room. So as you as you move further in the towers here the processing room also gives you bigger yield so you do this one the quick processing for one time uh, th the next one is going to to be expensive but you can also do a claim so you can do both at the same time and probably you can do that the next day so that is how you claim it then for your early access announcement these are extra currency for the store so as you can see you have to claim these uh the problem with this one is they don't have a claim all button so you just have to claim one at a time see 
Then after this one, once we claim this, we'll proceed to the store. Okay, one more. Mining zone. There you go. So, one more. Then we're off. Rank and rewards. So again, there's a ranking system as well. But we get more rewards once you rank high. And let's go back. So th this will be your shop. Expedition procurement. Okay. So at this point, I don't see this door refreshing. It doesn't give you much in terms of vibration. But it will give you uh, the purple ones. The SR ones. As for the SSR, this will only be for your MC. Or your main character. So buy this as frequent as you can. Because... Um, You'll be using MC for quite a while. I'm not sure up, up to what point you'll be able to not use her. But at this point, you'll be able to use her. So buy this as frequently as you want. Then these ones are assigned to a specific... Um, this is for... Uh, I think this is Sova. So if you're using Sova, you buy this. If you're using Iriri, you buy this as well. If you're using Snezana, you buy this. And if you're using... This is Nanook, you buy it. So those are the, the SRs that I think would help you to start. Especially for Snezana. Um, she's going to be very good SR. And also for Eriri here. So take note, um, buy these copies. I'm, I'm actually going to buy them even if i'm not using them anymore because i have a lot of uh, not really a lot of currency i have kind of okay currency at 900 something 300 600 sorry so again i don't have anything to spend it on this one belongs to um not sure who this is this is an an r Shelly, I think Shelly. So don't buy that. So buy the SR that you're only using. Buy the, the vibration arms of the SR that you're only using. And you can actually convert here your, what they call this, this one, this currency, your expedition core point to your expedition point. So take note that these are two different currencies and for your expedition point these are the only currencies that you can buy so these are the ones that upgrade your vibration arm so as much as possible buy this one the one that's limited this is available daily if you have enough don't buy these um if you have enough um um, buy these out so you have crystalline um, crystalline cells the solution um, whatever you know whatever vibration arms you need for the SR that you're using and the vibration arm fragment for MC so that is it so those are you know the basic things that you should buy hopefully you guys have reached this stage already and are ready to equip these or your vibration arms to your cases so that is it guys so comment down in the comment section um if you have some questions about vibration arms i would be you know happy to answer them so thank you very much take care stay safe it's the warden and i'm out of here